In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create the Apple Liquid Glass Effect. Begin by going up to the Tools bar, click and hold the Rectangle tool and choose the desired shape. I'll go for the rounded Rectangle tool, then click on Fill, set it to a solid color, then click on Stroke and set it to None. Then click and drag to create the shape, then open the Align tab and align the shape horizontally and vertically to put it at the exact center of the composition. Then we need to convert the shape into an adjustment layer by checking this icon. If you don't see these settings, down here click Toggle Switches on Modes and then enable this icon. Then the shape will disappear, then we go into the Effects and Presets window, we search for Gaussian Blur, then we add it to the shape layer. In effect controls, we increase the blurriness to our liking, I'll set it to 50. Then back in Effects and Presets, we search for Brightness and Contrast. We also add it to the shape layer, then we set brightness to 30 and contrast to negative 50. This will add the slight white filter on top, then we search for CC lens, also add it to the shape, then we adjust the CC lens values to our liking, I'll set them to 80 and 80. This will add distortions around the edges. Now we need to parent the position of the CC lens to the position of the shape layer to make sure that the CC lens effect moves with the shape. To do this, we select the shape layer, we press P on the keyboard, then we hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and we left click on the center setting of the CC lens. Then we drag this pick whip tool onto the position and we release the left mouse button. Then we click away and now as we move the shape, the CC lens will always follow it. Next, we select the shape layer, we go up to edit, we select duplicate or we can use Control D as a shortcut. Then we select the duplicated shape. In effect controls, we click. Then we Control A to select all effects. Delete to delete them. Then we convert this duplicated shape back into the actual shape by unchecking the adjustment layer icon. Then we click on fill. We set it to none. Then we click on stroke. We set it to a solid color. We adjust the width of the stroke. Then we press T on the keyboard to see the opacity and set it to 20 or 30% to add this slight and thin outline around the shape. And lastly, we need to parent the outline layer with the main shape. So go down to the parent and link column and drag the pick whip from the shape layer two onto the shape layer one, release the left mouse button. And now as we move the shape, everything will move with it. But one thing to keep in mind, as we move the shape really close to the edges, this black space will show through. And to fix that, we add motion tile to the footage layer. Then in effect controls, we increase the output width and output height to something like 150. And make sure you check mirror edges. And now everything will work as it's supposed to. And from this point on, you can animate the shape and do whatever you want with it.